Hello, uh, my name is Cliff Goddard from Griffith University and I'm here today with my friend and colleague Dr. Zheng Dao Ye from the Australian National University and we're going to be talking about meaning in language. Meaning in language, how do you get to grips with that? It's a tricky thing but we are both um, practitioners of a method called the natural semantic metalanguage approach. It all boils down to trying to capture meanings by using simple cross-translatable words. You'll see what I mean. Uh, Jingda, welcome. Thank you, Cliff. Now, I just want to start by um, asking you uh, how you came to be living and working in Australia, studying meaning in language. Uh, you were born in Shanghai and educated there. Yes, that's right. I'm, uh, I was brought up in, uh, in China, and specifically in, Ch in Shanghai, and then came to Australia. Um, Roughly 20 years ago. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. And what yes. attracted you to come to Australia? Uh, th there's a lot of things, uh, and uh, um, of uh, of one of the, um, one of the many things, um, it is uh, um, the um, the natural semantic meta language that uh, is the um, the method that uh, of many things that uh, is the um, method that uh, attracted me to Australia. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some people may already have heard the name uh, Professor Anna Vishbitska. Yeah. Um, talk about that a little bit for us. Um, the, um, I, I was blown away by Anna's work. When I was reading um, her work, I, I never felt such a feeling that I was able to get closer to to what people actually, the, the core of the meaning and what actually the words, what words actually mean. So it gives me uh, the, the methodology and the um, originated by Anna Vish speaker. Um, is a, for me, it's a very powerful and very effective tool for me to gain an insight into the language, um, into meaning and a, ultimately to the ways people think, ways people, um, uh, ways people think and people um, feel. So there must be a lot of, a lot of um, deep differences between yeah. words and ways of yes. thinking in Chinese versus in yes. English. Yeah. Can you just give us one or two examples? Yes. Um, the this is also why I'm very attracted to um, the natural semantic meta language because it enables me to overcome the problem of um, untranslatability. Mm -hmm. So there are many concepts in Chinese, likewise in many other languages, uh, cannot be easily translated uh, into um, English or vice versa. There are many English l words and expressions that cannot be easily translated into Chinese or many other languages. There's uh, uh, this Chinese concept, since uh, happiness is a very big uh, um, topic across different uh, disciplines, um, econom economists are interested in, 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 in the concept of uh, happiness because it's linked to positive psychology and uh, linked to um, productivity. There's, uh, uh, happiness has become a global, a global um, discourse. But if you look at closely at the concepts that Chinese people use, um, Chinese speakers use um, in their daily lives, such as um, xing fu, um, that is a, a, a very difficult concept to translate into English because it doesn't have an equivalent in English. It doesn't mean happy in English. And roughly translated, it's something like a, a beliefs that one, a belief that one is being loved and being cared for. And there's this idea, if I put it in more translating, tr cross-translatable words, it is you, you feel something good um, uh, towards uh, some, you know someone f always feel something good towards you and you know that this summer always wants to do good things for that's, you. That's absolutely fascinating, Jinga. Thank you so much for talking to us. Actually, um, we might talk again soon. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thanks, Chris.